I'm here today at Up and Running Milton Keynes. I am going to meet with Katie and Mikey, our two sponsored athletes, and also Dee, who is working at Up and Running. And we are, we are, we are today going to be looking, uh, doing a gait analysis, getting them some new trainers, and also talking about nutrition. So they've got a few other stores within the store. And then here is the gate analysis area. Nutrition. SIS is probably the best known one, or what one people know the best. Isotonic, you don't need to have water at the same time. Um, so they're a little bit more gentle on your stomach and the flavour is quite mild. So if you, if you don't like strong flavours, they're quite nice. Talk comes from the cycling world. Much stronger flavours, but a little bit more natural, less ingredients in there. Um, so they're good if you like it. You know, they've got a raspberry ripple flavour. It tastes like raspberry ripple, like lemon drizzle cake. Oh, they lemon drizzle cake. I think I've tried, what have I tried? One of. Mm. It's crazy. But and. Yeah, I think they might have done a cherry bakewell one. It really does. They, they're quite good. High Five, again, really well known brand. Um, they tend to be a little bit more liquidy. They yes. taste a little bit sweeter though, so if you've got a sweet tooth, they're really quite nice. Tailwind is, can be an alternative to gels, and it's if you, very, very gentle on your stomach. So it's designed to be a full fuel. Uh, I tend to use a little bit of top up if I'm a bit slow, so I tend to use a little bit of top up with something like shop blocks or something on top of that. Shop blocks are great if you can't stand gels because a packet of shop blocks, which is six sweets, is equivalent to two gels. But because you can have um, a sweet and spread them out, it tend, again tends to be a little bit more gentle on your stomach. Eat the whole way around. Exactly. <laughs> Gives you something much, and sometimes it's nice to have something more solid because you get a bit fed up with. Um, that kind of sickly jelly taste but unlike things like jelly babies they have the kind of different levels of sugar in there slow release and quick release so you get a sustained energy rather than energy dip with your jelly babies and sports beans again similar kind of thing so again it's like eating solid food but giving you the same kind of energy levels so caffeine speeds up your digestion so when people are looking at sports nutrition products generally only go for caffeine if you're an absolute caffeine addict because it will because I've read about people sort of having a little detox a couple of weeks before, three or four days before having loads of coffee. <laughs> Didn't say I've tried it. Don't, <laughs> I have heard that too. Yeah. Yeah. No, no. I mean, Mo Farah has a coffee, you know, a little espresso shop before he yeah. starts a marathon. Yeah, he does all right, doesn't he? He does all right, but he <laughs> drinks a lot of coffee and, yeah. you know, he's running a marathon in a bit quicker than we can add on to it to give yeah. you a little bit of a yeah, yeah. call. I'm happy to try anything. And I'll get you a bit of recovery stuff as well. Yeah. You, any milk intolerances or anything like that? No, no, no. Oh, no, no milk intolerances. Cool. So, <laughs> you are... Not a bad amount of tea and coffee, they okay. said they've been drinking. <laughs> so, for you, it'll be... I'll get some tailwind again. I'll get some recovery stuff. And I'll get the shop blocks and sports beans. And you can have a little comparison on a couple of ones and see what you prefer and get them better with. Most of the cushioning's in the heel, which is yeah. where all that gel is. And if you if you actually balance the shoe, the weight is at the back. Yeah. Whereas New Balance is a lower drop. It's as our well, Mizuno yeah. aren't a lower drop. They're the same drop as that, but they're not as heavy not, as the back. Yeah, because I've found that these feel quite heavy after maybe. Oh god, these are the assets are the heaviest sort of 10 ones. miles. I feel like I'm running. What I don't know is what injuries <coughs> have you had. So only really IT band injuries. Yeah. Maybe that was year ago yeah just over a year ago but since i've started doing like katie's core class and thanks for the plug I've not, yeah <laughs> i've not had yeah i've not had any injuries at all excellent so i've pretty much had an injury for a year that's good we like yeah. mm. and you've not had any insoles or anything in those have you no. excellent good stand facing me so what i'm going to do is i'm looking at your alignment yeah from shoulders hips to right like weak hips yeah Inflexible, right angle, tight hamstrings. Tight hamstrings, yeah. Hamstrings. Try and touch your toes. <laughs> yeah, that's not going to happen. So, roll onto the outside of your feet and slowly walk down to the ground. And again, bend your knees into a mini squat for me. And again, 
Tempt him. Jazz hands on the way back, please. <laughs> he will now watch. No. He will now watch. No. <laughs> I was going to say walk naturally, but perhaps that's how you walk. I don't know. Comfortable. I'm camp. Camp and comfortable. Okay. Tell me when you're up to speed. This is Mizuno Wave Rider. Woo! So you, your favourite shoes are Ultima. Yep. Which is a little bit of a cheaper, slightly heavier shoe. This is their marathon distance good shoe. Ooh, they look so nice. pretty. I love them because they're different. They are. <laughs> we'll be correcting that form later. I was going to say, yeah. <laughs> me. Oh, do you want me to set the shoes off? I do. Very good. Yes, it is. <laughs> Did you get dressed? Run <laughs> Don't. I've put a pair of leggings on back to front, inside out. That's not a good look, is it? Really? <laughs> what size? Ten centimeters. By the way, do you know? So same thing. She's thinking of ways, though. Look. <laughs> Slow down and stop when you're ready. So people tend to more oh. run more naturally on the ground. Mm -hmm. so why get them to run on the ground first? Yep. For left, you, left looks quite good. Your left is spot on. Nice and neutral. You, your feet are slightly turned out, but that's quite normal for us ladies because we have it. Oh, my hips going on. My bum don't look too bad either. <laughs> <laughs> you get that's a perky. little dry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Drop it in on the right hand side, but it is my neck. It is very, very little, and if you actually look at the line up your Achilles to your knee, it's pretty good. A little bit of glute work with no the glades, yeah, clamshells, that kind of stuff, uh, will really, really help to strengthen everything. But basically, these shoes are a little bit more worn now, and a new one, you'll be nice and straight. Okay. Don't need any support, you'll need for four. And then you show the shoe, you're rolling less as well. Road to Manchester. <laughs> Road to London. <laughs> so the takeaway from today is that your running trainers should be your comfiest trainers that you own. They need to fit to you and your running style. And also nutrition, again, is very unique. But the whole idea of a training cycle is to try different brands, see what works for you, what fits best into your training. Car now and finished with Katie and Mikey. I'm very excited to be helping them um, with their journey. So Up and Running have given them a new pair of trainers. Each um, has sponsored them some nutrition to try different things. So they both sort of went through what kind of things they're using at the moment. Caffeine has a big effect on things. So if you don't have a lot of caffeine, then they don't recommend certain products. And yeah, just really excited now. So thank you for checking in in installment one of the sponsored athletes. And we'll be taking you upon their next installment of their journey coming very soon.